Apple Doctor Germany, my name is Ben Hello and welcome to the micro soldering show. Normally you get one video a day, today you get two videos a day. Why? Because I have a nice, uh, a, nice, nice, a nice repair right here on my table. Just had a short look on it and figured it out. Um, it's an iPhone 8 Plus with, an half backlight, with a half backlight. I show it to you, I show to you how the how this looks. Just need a little bit of space on my on my table. Okay. So I think it's really really a nice fold. So on hands. Okay. So I just connect the screen. Okay. Only the screen is enough. I don't need to connect flex cable for the home button. Okay, only the screen. And then we just connect my beloved iPhone 8 battery FPC and lightning FPC. Okay, so now we boot up. And what we see is I think here you can see it better. It's just a half backlight. Okay? So, on iPhone 8 Plus, like on iPhone 7 Plus, um, here you can see it again, we have two backlight circuits. So we have four diodes, we have two backlight ICs, we have uh, some more um, coils, and all is doubled. So, here we have to check for the voltage and I do this right on the test points. So on the front side, I show to you in ZXW. So we do control two times the end node. Just give you a window capture. One second, can't picture video. I have to do color control. One push. Okay, so now the, the image is better. Um, and now I just give you two window captures ZXW. ZXW. Okay, by the way, I got my new iPhone uh, 11 Pro. And it's just great. So ZXW. Here we got. And we need a little bit less. So that's okay. Okay. So ZXW. These are the both test points for the both nodes. So I just boot up the device and control the voltage on these both points to control which of the backlight circuits is faulty. Normally I don't show anything, uh, uh, anything about diagnose or not much, but in this case, case I said, okay, I show you something. So, we go to the voltage mode and we just boot up the device. So, if we boot up the device, we got power on the lines, so we can check. So, I first check one, and here we got 18 volts. Second, here we got point, point two, 0 0.2 volts, so we know because of the measurement, the problem is on that side of the backlight circuit. When we switch to the other side, we see that this line comes through this resistor and goes right to that backlight circuit with, the, with this backlight IC. So, the problem can't be the backlight IC. Ilya just uh, explained a minute before why. Because when the problem would be the IC, we should have about 4.2 volts VCC main or VDD main voltage on that point, but we haven't. So here something is not connected 
so a line is not collect connected w with each other and I had this fault on iPhone 8 and 8 plus I had or uh, already 10 times and more and it w it was always I told Andy before as I saw the, the, the error on the screen I directly thought on a resistor okay so in this case the first thing I imagined was ah okay the resistor so we just do a short measurement and see <coughs> because the resistor is a zero resistor so we should it just connects a line to each other we could take a, f a ferret too for that I would yeah, say yeah. We, we could take a ferret like on the iPhone Anything 6s uh, like on the 6s backlight circuit yeah. we, we could take it. It, it, it it would work okay we don't need this resistor we can take a ferret I at this point so that uh, would be no problem so now we just check if um, the circuits are connected so measurement under the under the EMI shield is bad so we just take two points in the circuit and see if the circuits are connected uh, with each other so we take this point and we take the second here in beep mode and we see it just doesn't beep so when it doesn't beep at this point the problem is that the circuits are not connected and so I can't get voltage to this uh, to the circuit and I only got a half backlight because only one backlight circuit is working and the other is not working so it's just logical thinking to get the result because I, I saw so many boards they came in after half backlight or no backlight and people always wasting time getting out all um, all the components of the backlight circuit they take out the IC they take out the diet they take out uh, uh, everything they find they just take out and then they do in and it doesn't work and that's not the right way just or it took two hours yeah what to, or it took two hours to replace yeah everything. yeah, yeah. They, they take two hours and more replace all and it works okay but they don't know what was the fault and we always want to know what is the fault so in this case we just within two minutes we just did a professional diagnose we t took the, the voltage on the test points just uh, to see if a voltage is missing we saw okay a voltage is missing then we we trace the line and so okay two lines are not connected with w with each other and the only thing which uh, which is possible as error at this point is the resistor so it's okay to know that uh, um, from experience because I directly thought could could be this resistor but um, but it's not not definitely knowing that it is okay we it's just okay uh, I think my experience is could be this resistor okay but then do the measurement to see if it is really the resistor okay so now we just need to get it out and the problem is that we really have no space here so we have to get up the EMI shield just a little bit I know that it is bad and I don't like it normally to work on EMI shields and getting them up but here in this case what should I do I can try to get the resistor out with the small tweezers but I don't like so we just take out a little bit of this shield so we can set it up set it back later okay not too much so have a short look where the resistor is okay okay a little bit more up just a smooth a little bit more up and now we see it perfectly so then just using 
the hot air and getting out the resistor at this point great and now we can just take a filter out of an iPhone 6s backlight circuit or it's no problem 120 ohms no we need a it's a 01005 I think so we can't take it out of an iPhone 6s backlight circuit um, but I think we have we have enough other stuff here which we can use oh it's 0201 sorry so we can use it 0201 I just um, didn't th thought in the right way and I take a I take a 33 ohm now I think that should be no problem on Adelia how much? 33 ohms yeah, <laughs> yeah. it will work So, you see, we take that, but before, sorry, I just want to take a picture, a picture just for Instagram. With my new iPhone, iPhone 11 Pro. The camera is really such a monster, a beast. Okay, so now we get in the ferret. Did you get something to eat or why? <laughs> oh, okay. I hope my explanation for that error in English is okay for you because uh, I'm not a native English speaker. I try just my best. Okay, so now we just put the shield back, just some flux, waiting a short time. And here at this edge too. So it's hard to get it okay. at both sides. So, okay. And now just a little bit off. Solder. So it takes more time to get this done as the repair itself, but it's no problem. Just try to get it in a nice way now. Okay. Done. Other side is okay too. So this looks really good. Now we just clean one time. Okay, and now we can just do a test. So, see if Glass our work. Glass so, 
main cam, but the microscope de deactivate. And now let's see if we got the full backlight again. Waiting. And boom! We are back to life again with a with the full backlight. I just moved the phone a little bit so you can see it better. Easy breezy. Because of the because of the light. You see it? Full backlight again. Just by using our head, doing a professional diagnose and changing only one part which is really broken. Not disassemble the whole backlight circuit because I don't know don't know what I do and um, after that I, <laughs> I have uh, no image <laughs> okay um, I hope you could learn something out of this video that's the only cause why I made it and w why I did a second video today because I thought this could be really a nice thing to explain something here on YouTube I hope you like it um, if you want to learn things like that, you can easily do that at the Bottle Lab Repair School Germany. And if you are working at the repair industry for smartphones and tablets, you can join our Facebook uh, group, Smartphone Repair Group Germany. I'm out. We see you with the next video. Boom! Back to life again. Here's Ben.